Hope you enjoy this little uh, clip we shot out in California called Disruptive Technologies. Welcome to Disruptive Technologies. I'm Heather Storm. This is the show that takes you into the world of breakthrough science and invention. Follow along as we get up close and personal view of each invention. We'll go out to the field with each innovator and learn more about the creative and the struggles they endured before sending them on to make a disruptive technology panel. Here's how it works. First, an event pitches technology to a seasoned and prestigious panel of experts. This machine takes very little energy to get a huge amount of torque out of it. Taste my water. The only patented, fresh brewed, living water. Simply apply it to the bottom of your gas tank and you will see firsthand pollution stopped. Then the panelists will interview the inventor, asking them a variety of questions to see if they can back up their tech with scientific data, proof, and the right strategy. How much of your own money have you put into this? Probably, Probably about, about 280, 300,000. There is no way that anyone could tell that you're 60 years old. Is the water the only thing in your diet that you have changed, or is it your whole style of eating? How did you get the name Thunder White Cloud? Is there a Native American answer? Yes, let's not go. Let's keep to the science, please. Okay. The claim is that you're getting out more energy than you're putting in. Where is that energy coming from? How is it that the frequency of the toxin, which doesn't really even exist in the gas tank, is getting affected by this thing before I burn the fuel? It doesn't, that part doesn't make sense to me. Okay, very good. Sometimes if you're going to disrupt an industry, it's, it's good not to go directly at them, but to go to the low end or the high end so that the big guys ignore you until you get it in there? Have you thought of some industrial applications or other applications? How did you two meet each other? We actually uh, met in a uh, meditation group. What kind of data we have to support the claims that we've got about your product and what the health effects it's having on people. Afterwards, the inventor makes a final request for investment. We've had a hard time getting any help. What we're looking for is the expertise to take it to where we know it could go. $100,000 to this effort to educate with cameras and graphics for people to see the truth. We are currently looking for nonprofit organizations to donate to our cause. The panelists will then deliberate to determine whether or not they're going to take the inventor's disruptive technology to the next level. Obviously, he's not used to pitching his idea, but it seems like he's taken it far as he can and just wants help to take it to the next level. If he's not willing to share some of the data of how revolutionary it is, I think it's hard to get people excited. And it's got all the trappings of looking like a totally fake scam. They've shown some evidence uh, if this works, this will be magical and it's worth exploring. You may not have all the scientific facts, but there may be something there. I think we should spend $100,000 educating people about snake oil salesmen. You're being ridiculous. You've been wanting people to show facts. They give it to you and you're like, not good enough. How does he decide that something's better? Is there a 100% perfect water that he's aspiring to? And what is that? We may not always understand how these technologies work, and that is the core of disruptive technologies. Yes. We've built up an edifice of a scientific establishment that things have to follow certain rules. I agree. And when you get something that comes outside of that edifice, we all scratch our heads and wonder, could this work or could this not work? The greatest minds you've never heard of and innovations that will change our world here on Disruptive Technologies. Just a little fun fun that uh, we had back in the day. This is Thunder from Grayland Industries. If you want to find more about uh, my work and research, contact me directly at grayland.com, phone number and email located at the top. Have a quantum day.